Hey, Birch House friends. Welcome back. This week, the Beetle Guy asks, Hey, Birch House, what is your favorite method for carving designs into wood? And uh, to be honest, I don't know if I have a favorite method, but what I thought I'd do is show you what tools I use and then kind of why I use them or how I utilize them. Um, so first up are these carving knives. And I actually have a couple more, but I have carving knives. And I have some carving tools, some chisels and gouges and scoops, things of that nature. And I have a bunch of those. And then I have a Dremel. And this guy has a ton of tips. I have a ton of, of a huge variety of tips for it. Um, so for things that are highly specific or custom ordered, I will, uh, or if they have like a historical significance, I will um, use only analog tools. So for example, we made the replica of the Trelleborg shield that's in the Swordsmanship Museum and Academy. And uh, the original Trelleborg has carvings in the handle of the shield. And we, um, when we carved that, we only used uh, carving tools. Um, everything on there, the whole design is hand carved. And we actually ended up making two for them. Um, I believe one is on display by itself, so you can actually see the handle and the other is on the shield. Um, and so we have those... Um, that, that's kind of how we did it. We just did everything analog on that. Um, right now, I am in full swing working for the festival season. Um, we are going to the Ohio Viking Festival in June. Um, and so I'm getting a lot of work done in kind of a short amount of time. Um, and so for a lot of my carvings, I use a Dremel. Um, it's faster. Uh, I've always said that I make period accurate weapons and armor and shields and things of that nature, but I don't always use period accurate means to do that. Um, if I did everything analog, if I did everything with hand tools, it would take longer and the longer it takes, the more I have to compensate myself. Um, and so by using something like a Dremel, I can bring the price down a little bit because it, it's faster, more efficient. So if I'm not doing something like hyper specific or I'm not in a crunch time like I am now, uh, generally speaking, I kind of I, I do a hybrid when I'm carving. So I will use the hand tools um, to kind of shape, uh, get the look I want. Um, it may even get the majority of it done, and then come in and finish up with the Dremel. Um, I have some really nice sanding tips for my Dremel. Um, and it's, it's really nice to get in there and get like ragged edges or to kind of clean up and get nice smooth inside in, you know, in the negative space of a carving, um, make it nice and smooth and clean. Um, so I kind of find myself doing this hybrid. I'm not really a, 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 a full out hand tools only guy and I'm not a full out, you know, power tools only kind of guy, um, kind of a hybrid. So that's how we do our carvings. Uh, that was a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, if you ever have a question for Birch House, comment below with Hey Birch House, ask, and we'll answer in a future video. In the meantime, we'll see you all next Wednesday.